Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're here for Delicious in Dungeon Episode 5. So last episode, we met the orcs as they threatened to kill us, but we ended up uh, going to their camp and learning the location of where the Red Dragon is actually at, so it seems like we might be going to fight that sometime this episode. Um, as well... <laughs> As well as the whole argument with Marcial and the dad orc was one of the funniest parts of the entire ser series. I think comedy-wise, it was the best of the series. It literally had me, like, crying, laughing. It was so goddamn funny. But overall, last episode was very enjoyable. We got a ton of, ton of good lore, as well as some good dishes made per usual. So, I'm assuming we're either gonna go fight the dragon to save Lyos' sister this episode, or begin the journey to fight the dragon. So... Without further ado, let's hop straight into to Delicious in Dungeon. Never mind, I gotta... <laughs> I, I always forget. Uh, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord. Links are in the description for both of those. Uh, Discord, we talk about any shows or just generally have an overall great time in there. As far as the Patreon goes, you can expect everything from a typical reaction channel Patreon, uncuts of all video, of uncuts of all videos, and some, rea uh, some exclusive reactions as well. So feel free to check that out of your own will. But now, without further ado, let's hop straight into Delicious in Dungeon, Episode 5. This guy's from the OP, I think. Defeating the Lunatic Magician. Is that who I think it is? Is that... What's her name? Oh god, what's the voice actress's name? Oh my god. She's like one of the most famous voice actresses in all of anime. She does both Amelia and Megumi. Uh, Megumin from Konosuba. Damn, damn, that's actually gonna piss me off that I can't remember her name, but she is so famous. <laughs> Wonder if we're, what what is that creature? What what is that like a wolf human hybrid? What is, what on earth is that? But it seems like we might end up uh, meeting this party on our trip down. What on earth? <laughs> Oh, is it this a cut to our party here? Oh, never mind. Still, there's still just them. They have a lot more people than our party, too. You found that inside of that zombie creature? Oh my god. They hit the utter jackpot. <laughs> Muddy so much. <laughs> Interesting. I guess people weren't looking inside the zombies to loot. What is this area as well? It just looks like floor after floor after floor. Oh no, what strange things you're talking about. Our journey has been pretty pretty casual so far to say the least. Well I guess the maybe the strange things have to involve like the dragon or something. Maybe the dragon is making things happen in this dungeon that weren't happening before. I I, I really have no idea. Mm, yep, here's our party. Whoa! Wait, what the hell? Wait, what? Yeah, they just like all passed out after. Um... You would see injuries if that was the case, though. So they're all fully dead. So I wonder if something happened after they opened that chest. If like maybe they said a ghost came out and got him, or like they were put under a curse after it opened. I don't know. That's interesting. Cause they, you would think if they had a falling out over money, that they would have like they'd have visible injuries from fighting each other. And also, you would have a victor in that case. One person would be alive in the end of that skirmish. And they seemed like they were all happy with each other, so that's definitely not the case. Whoa! <laughs> it's the sword! His sword is going crazy! Oh my god. Is it trying to make him do something? Is there something in the coins? Oh my god! It's not real coins. Interesting how the sword could tell that these were not real coins. <laughs> oh, 
the heck? Ew! Oh god! <laughs> Did she just eviscerate it? Oh my god, she literally just eviscerated the bugs. <laughs> she also stunned her teammates too. Interesting. Um... <laughs> my sword, I mean. Interesting, so his sword really is helping him out a lot here. <laughs> Are, is Senshi gonna try and cook these? Oh my god, he's gonna try and cook them, isn't he? <laughs> Poor Marcio! <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be an interesting barrier to cross, because I don't think Marciel is gonna eat bugs. I actually don't think you're gonna convince Marciel to eat bugs. Have different designs based on their sex. That's so... That's so intriguing. That's actually so cool. Skewer them! We're skewering these centipede creatures. Yeah, I gotta say, you're gonna have to do some strong convincing to convince Marcial to eat this. The eggs? Wait, those little pearls on the outside were eggs? How do you come up with that? Like, how do you come up with that detail? That is so unique. <laughs> Marcel's the only person who's just distraught by this. Natural and tasty treasure bug snacks. So we've got like a jar of them. We've got like some bread. We've got some skewers and we've got the coins that look like... I don't even, I don't even know what you would call that. They look like hash browns maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. So people actually do eat these on the surface. Okay. Oh god, Marcial. It's good, isn't it? It's gooey. Oh my god, he is just down. Is he making a burger? Oh man, he's making a burger out of the gems. Yeah, I don't know. I think just placebo effect. I wouldn't be able to eat that. Like, even if it is like gems that taste good, the fact that I've got gems inside of a burger in front of me would just be way more than enough for me to sway away and not eat it. It's just that kind of placebo mental thing where it's like, I know this is edible and I know it tastes good, but it doesn't look like something that's edible and it doesn't look like it's good. Like, uh, especially the edible part would make it very difficult to consume. Maybe, maybe it sensed that its buddies were there. Maybe, maybe this, um, this, uh, mollusk, that's what they were called, right? They were called mollusks, I think. This mollusk creature has taken Lyos' side now that Lyos is carrying him around in the sword or something. And so he's gonna help him out and, uh, help sense whenever there's danger around that they don't notice. <laughs> oh, he's offering it to the sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have led with that. We just lost a bunch of free gems. And Lyos is just hugging the sword. <laughs> He's just too into his sword to even care. They just lost a bunch of gems. So what are we doing about that other party? Are we just gonna leave them there? They're just gonna have to be revived? Uh-oh. The hell is that? Oh, look at Lyos pushing him along. Mm. Oh, God. Hello. Better get moving. Oh, my God. The burger. No. Oh, my God. 
Oh my, what is it, freezing him? How exactly do you fight a ghost in this world? Yeah, they're after you guys now. This is so intriguing. So, we for, we just in this episode alone, we've met the coin bugs and gem bugs, whatever, the treasure bugs, I think they called them. We met the treasure bugs, cooked said treasure bugs, and they're now fighting ghosts. This is such such an interesting level of the dungeon. And then I'm wonder I'm still wondering if we're going to meet that party again. I'm assuming we are. I'm assuming we're going to end up meeting that party again after they get revived or something cuz I believe the main guy of that party is in the opening. So I feel like they he they, he wouldn't be in the opening if we're never going to see him again. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wait, both of, both of these, that's right. I can't believe I didn't notice that. Both of these two in the back there were in the first episode. I, I've been thinking as we watched the opening, like, when are we going to meet these new characters? But they were already in the party. They were two of the people who left the party after they lost to the Red Dragon. So I'm wondering if we're going to see them show up sometime soon again. Also, another new Marcial hairstyle. That's all, I love how all the other characters have their stagnant hairstyles. It seems like the author just really likes to change up Marcial's hairstyle every now and then. It's cute. I like all the, the different styles she goes for. <laughs> oh god damn another missing person that was taken over by a ghost i guess yeah at the at the beginning that one guy who talked to uh, that one guy <laughs> one guy who talked to that one guy sorry i can't remember the names fully but the one guy who talked to the guy's party who passed out from the treasure bugs. The one guy who talked to him at the beginning was referencing how a lot of strange things have been going on with the dungeon and a lot of dungeon uh, dungeon adventurers have been going missing, aka they've been be they've been getting taken over by ghosts when they get killed. What's the plan? Is she just gonna exercise the ghost from him? Oh my god, she just hugged him. Whoa! Was there even magic involved in that? <sighs> ah, she does look a little exhausted after that, so maybe there was magic involved. But it literally looked like she just hugged it, and then the ghost just being overwhelmed with emotion or something left the left the body. <laughs> with a gentle embrace. Yeah, she seems to have a pretty negative attitude towards the ghost. I don't know if it would work like that. Hey, what? There's a lot of laughing happening in here. Yeah, it sounds like they're still following us with all their giggles. Okay. <laughs> Man, he's he's just got he's just got every ability in the book. He's able to cook and uh, whatever. Sorry, I'm not getting the text because I'm talking. But he's able to cook, make holy water, or drive away ghosts. He's able to fight as well. This guy's just a, a jack of all trades. Makes sense. A golden beetle. Oh my god, he's just putting everything possible in this one little concoction here. Yeah, he is totally just putting together an amalgamation of ideas and hoping it works. Well, this is some interesting homemade holy water. That looks like an abomination. Let's see if it works. <laughs> uh, hey, it's time to get going. Oh my god. Any day now, Senshi! Oh god, he's starting to see his sister. Is he about to renew his, uh, conviction to go save her? Oh my god! <laughs> he just smacked it with the holy water. He didn't even use the holy water against it, he just straight up smacked it. 
Yeah, it seems to be actually working. <laughs> the way he's just so elegantly jumping around and swinging at him. The fact that he doesn't even have to pour it on them. He's just straight up smacking them with the holy water. It gives the ghosts ammo, essentially. Damn! Look at him go, <laughs> swinging around the holy water at all the ghosts. Oh yeah, I like completely froze. Is he gonna taste it? Oh my god, he just ate it. Oh, <laughs> what? Exorcism sorbet to drive away evils? What on earth? <laughs> Guess we're eating... Yeah. We're eating holy ice cream, essentially, right now. <laughs> Their reactions to him always saying it's good every time kill me. The holy... The holy water ice cream. <laughs> Look at Marcio kicking her feet over there. It jiggles a little. <laughs> Lyos has offered it to the sword. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of it. Kind of what it sounded like. Yeah, that did just sound like you said you're happy. Fallon's not here. <laughs> if only Fallon were here right now. Yeah. <laughs> this Fallon flying in the background. So yeah, it's it's a, it's a pretty much like I said, essentially, that we were going to have a couple episodes in between now that we have the location of where, um, of where the dragon's at that we're going to venture down there to go kill it. Alright, that was a good episode. I, I really, the, the uniqueness of the foods in this episode was definitely my favorite part. I think this was probably the most unique foods that we have had in the entire series so far, as it, as it went... <laughs> Went from eating literal bugs that disguise themselves as treasure, all the way to fighting off ghosts with a holy water mix. This is very interesting to say the least, but overall this is a really great episode. I'm enjoying this series as we continue our journey down to fight the Red Dragon and revive Falene. And maybe eventually we'll get our old party members back like that red haired dwarf it looked like we had. And then that like samurai looking guy as well. So a lot of intriguing stuff going on. Maybe we'll end up finding that other party from the beginning at some point along the way as well. Uh, but until then, uh, we'll continue the journey down to fight the Red Dragon. Like I so said, this is a great episode, but I think that is going to wrap it up for my reaction to Delicious in Dungeon episode 4. Four, five. It's episode five. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you all have a good day.